I mean, that, oh, you can see your chart there now, what, what, what your Irish estimate looks like. And most people, in fact, almost everybody, nobody gets 100%. So okay. you're, in, you're in good company. The other bits are kind of add a bit of colour. What we can see is there's a, a fair smattering of Great Britain in your DNA. 5%. And we know you have a royal line, of course. Well, that's, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, but. That's a well, well, well known fact. Well known. But we also found some Eastern European, and that's kind of unusual because you find less of that in Irish people in general. So right. there's somewhere from Eastern Europe in your past. You well, think, well, there, there, there is a talk of, uh, in the family of, of uh, Polish, Polish. Uh, story of this. Uh, anyway, it's a long story. Royalty, that, of course. That's another show. <clears throat> Sobieski's. <laughs> so. Keep going. So, so we found that in your DNA, but the other thing we did is kind of bring in the time machine more to the, to yes. the more recent past. When we compare you to those three million people, we found out how many people you share enough DNA that we think they're your cousins. They're oh. cl either close relatives or distant relatives. And out of the three million, we found for you about 12,000. So that's 12,000 cousins that we found for an almighty Christmas You're party. You're not invited. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> but out of that 12,000, there's about 100 that are a lot closer. Close in a family historian terms, about fourth cousin, like a great great grandfather, great 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 grandfather. But the closest cousin piqued my attention because in their family tree is a Tubridy. So I looked into this and this person lives in New York mm -hmm. and when I looked at they have a grandmother and her name is Ellen Tubridy. Ellen. And when I looked at that I then looked back in your family history and your great grandfather is Patrick Tubridy. Yes. He was a teacher in Connemara. In Cairo, yeah. But his roots are Clare. Yes, and when we looked at his family, we found there was an Ellen as well and we matched the two together and we found out that Ellen was Patrick's younger sister. Really? Now, what happened was two siblings growing up in Clare, one went off to Connemara and another, in fact, we have, I think, an image of it. Ellen went a bit further afield. In 1892, age 14, she took the boat to New York. So she set off from Cove and, you know, to all intents and purposes, left her family of 14 to make a new life in America. Potentially never to be seen again. It's extraordinary, you know? isn't it? And, you know, looking through the names down the list, on the, the passenger list with her, there's a McCarthy, and she actually married a McCarthy uh, later on when she went to New York. But what we found from your DNA, you took a test in Dublin, and this man, her grandson, took a test in New York. A hundred years later, 120 years later, your DNA took Ellen's story back home to Ireland. It connected the diaspora wow. to us in a very real way. What a great story. And, yeah. and is, is Ellen's grandson in New York now? Is that the He point? lives in New York, yeah, today. Clearly a cousin of mine. He's a third cousin of yours, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That, I just think that...